Hi, this is Mark Comfort. It's Travel Tip Tuesday time again. Anyway, last week, if you remember, we talked about travel tips. We talked about the most important decision you'll have to make is who you do your vacation planning through. Secondly, for the destination part, and every Tuesday I will talk about a travel tip and a destination. Last Tuesday we talked about India. Today we're going to go a little north and talk about Norway. And the pictures you just saw of the Norwegian fjords I'm going to tell you about in just a minute, but let's talk about this. Travel insurance. Is travel insurance worth it? We've been in business, Cruise Holidays Kansas City, 29 years. We've sold over 90,000, we're approaching 100,000 vacation customers. Every single customer asks, is travel insurance worth it? And I want to tell you, we have seen everything happen for those 90,000 customers in our 29 years. Candidly, my simple thing that I want you to think about is, can you afford it if something did happen that would force you to cancel or force you to have a medical uh, expenses? And remember, most insurance will not cover you when you're out of the country or on international waters if you have, an, a, medic, if you have a medical emergency or you have to uh, depart the ship or something if a family member does. Okay, back to cancellation. Do you know the number one reason for insurance is to protect you from cancellation penalties? The closer you get to your vacation, you get very little, if any, money back at all if you have to cancel. Now, did you know this? More people have to cancel, not because they have a situation, an illness or an injury, but because a family member does and they have to cancel. But where it really becomes expensive, like I was just saying, is if you have a medical issue while you're on your vacation, especially if it's international or if it's on international waters, because most insurance won't cover that. Nobody thinks they're gonna have a problem, but it happens all the time. Somebody trips and uh, sprains or breaks an ankle, somebody falls and hurts their back. I've had literally everything happen. We've had people going to the airport in the morning before they leave. They got in a wreck. We had a couple, a person, fall, slip in the shower, and break a tailbone and couldn't go on their vacation the day they were supposed to leave. We have literally seen everything. So the insurance we offer, Travel Guard Travel Insurance, covers the cancellation situations, covers the medical but more importantly than that, it covers about everything. It covers lost baggage, personal possessions, so much more. Uh, interruption insurance. What if a plane can't get you to uh, the ship or to the vacation and you, have, you incur extra expenses? Long story short, if you can afford and it won't hurt you to pay thousands of dollars for medical expenses if you have a medical issue, then don't worry about it. But if it will hurt, or you decide you don't want to take the chance of having to come up with several thousand dollars. Because remember, when you're in international uh, uh, countries or on a cruise and there's a problem, you've got to pay cash and then you will get reimbursed. That can be a real problem too. Now, do I recommend travel insurance? Absolutely, yes. And I hope and pray you never have to use it, but I absolutely recommend it. It's worth every penny and especially if you have a problem before, during, or even after sometimes. Now let's talk about Norway. Oh my goodness, one of the prettiest countries in the world. I give talks all the time about the hundred countries that I've gone to and which are the most scenic countries. But I want you to look at this right here. That's Gauranger Fjord. Uh, outside of Alessand, Norway. It truly is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. And if you'll notice, there are just gorgeous mountains and fjords that strict, uh, come basically straight up out of the mountains. It is a beautiful country. And by the way, did you know that the Finns from Finland and the Norway, uh, Norwegian people have been voted last several years happiest people in the world. And one of the reasons is because they're so outside people, they're so active, and they're nice, friendly people. 
But the country of Norway is a country you have to experience. And listen to this. Most cruise lines will go up into Norway and do the north coast of Norway around summer solstice, June 21st, 22nd. And guess what? Above the Arctic Circle, the sun never sets. The first time we were there, three straight days, the sun never set. It goes almost down to water level and boom, right back up. Fascinating place, great people, and truly some of the most beautiful scenery in the world. Norwegian fjords, I recommend it strongly. Cruising, I think, is one of the best ways to see this beautiful area. And there is a lot of history, a lot of history. Do you know Hitler thought the Allies would come in through Norway? Well, so there's all sorts of bunkers and things like that up there that you would never guess. And the mountains, again, just gorgeous. Can you do it not by a cruise? Yes, all sorts of uh, tour companies like Globus, uh, Insight, they go and do motor coach tours through Norway. Beautiful country. I recommend Norway. Hey, next week, guess what? We're going to talk more about the destinations of the world. And next week, we're going to talk about a continent. We're going to talk about South America. And for our travel tips, we're going to talk about how do you get the best deal? That's the other question everybody's asked us. How do I get the best deal? So tune in next Tuesday for Travel Tips Tuesday, and I will talk to you then.